Hey Legionnaires, welcome back, we're here with another NTW3 historical battle for you today. And this, as you can tell, is the Battle of Salfield, fought in 1806 between France, Prussia and Saxony, as we had the Saxons already going in here against some Chasseurs Cheval of the French, actually routing some Chasseurs here. And uh, in fact, they look like they're going to win this entire cavalry engagement off the bat here. So yeah, the Chasseurs Cheval here, all France, look like they've been beat by... Maybe some sort of like Chevalier Guerres here of Saxony. I'm not really sure exactly what unit this is. But yeah, the French are taking a big L there early on with the cavalry. Now we've got Hussars coming in from the French and they look like they're going to engage. They actually, at the last second, did change their mind. But the Saxons were upon them. And it looks like the, uh, the Hussars might lose that one. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't go for it. They were going to be fresher, have more numbers. But it looks like both sides are going to just leave that one for now. But yes, this is a historical battle between... The French, the Prussians, and the Saxons, obviously part of the French invasion of the uh, Prussian kingdom in 1806, and was a French victory, as most of the victories were in this campaign for the French. Um, this one was obviously fought between uh, France and Saxony and Prussia, as we've already been over. Their commanders, you had Prince Louis of Ferdinand fighting for the Prussians. No one really in charge of the Saxons, um, it says really. So I guess the Saxons just under maybe like a court commander. Uh, under under Louis Ferdinand. Then we have um, Lans, we have Ogru, and we have, um, it says Victor Perrin and Suchet, but uh, we have actually got Ney here, I believe, somewhere instead. If I can find him, yeah, Ney's cause here. So maybe there just isn't a Suchet um, or Victor Corf, this one, so they're using Ney instead. But yes, yeah, so we have Ogru here, we have Ney, and I believe we have two Lans cause over here. So it seems as though the main objective for this one is to, I guess, maybe take the towns for the French to take these two towns here. I mean, this actually, this town is not on the, uh, I mean, I presume this is Southfield here. It's not actually on the map. They need to probably sort that out. But uh, this is Southfield here, I believe. The Saxons, by the way, and I think maybe another army out here, well, this might just be the Saxons. But the Saxons, as you can see, have spawned right at the edge of the map. I believe all the Prussian and the Saxon armies are kind of spread out. So uh, maybe if the French can sort of like maybe, like certainly Ney and uh, Ogru here, if they could double team the Saxon army, they could maybe do a lot of damage. Uh, the Saxons certainly aren't great from what I remember, but they may have been upgraded, like uh, updated and improved in 9.1, I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully they are pretty decent because they're gonna have a pretty formidable French force coming against them. And as you can see here, they have plenty of line infantry already marching in column towards Southfield itself. They're not standing and engaging the French here. Yes, if you want to get involved in NTW3 action, feel free to join my Discord. The link is down below in the description. Always new players are very much welcome to join and get involved in some of these historical scenarios or just to send in some of your own awesome replays. And if you want to support the channel in any way possible, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and comment show your support. And feel free to hit that notification bell so you know when the next NTW3 video is out. And you can also go and check out my merch. The link for that is in the description as well. If you'd like to go and buy yourself a t-shirt or a hoodie. Or maybe you know someone that would want one. Maybe a nan. Maybe a nan would be like, yes, I just want some Pope Sean Paul merch. It's all, always what I wanted. But yes, feel free to go and check that out. But we have the French already engaging over here. We have some line infantry. They're engaging with some lights. I mean, the lights are not going to win this fight. They're just going to harass the French here and there. Can you imagine this, uh, this little unit's going to just get absolutely obliterated eventually? Look at these guys, they're awesome, they really do. Hopefully they can uh, put up a decent fight. I don't know if they will be able to. You look at these poor little Jaegers here doing their best. I mean, they're facing like an entire core at the moment. Um, let's have a look at cavalry situation. I imagine the Prussians and the uh, Saxons might have the stronger, as you can see that unit just getting like nearly evaporated, might have the stronger cav. Seems like a lot of hussars and chasseurs for the French at this early stage of the war. Like, certainly as you get like to more like the 1810s, 1815, that, that's sort of like the latter years of the war, you see more heavy cab for the French. Certainly an army's being brought. I mean, there are some corps in, uh, that do like specialize more in heavy cab, but certainly seems like a lot of the cab being brought by most of these corps is just hussars and chasseurs. It's kind of like what their strength is. So, you imagine with things like Dragoons. Oh, another big cavalry fight going on over here as I was just talking about this. You can see here, cavalry actually being routed. Actually, I say it's cavalry. It looks like it's, yeah, Voltigares. 
being routed here. This is just like a little skirmish infantry. They have been routed by what looks like just Prussian cavalry. I mean, they've actually lost their cav here, and this uh, Hussar unit has actually saved the day. They did cost them two little Voltaire units. And it looks like as though we have got Hussars here, though, for the Prussians. So they have got on some pretty good units. Maybe even Curassis might be lingering around. I don't know. But uh, this is a real bad con uh, sign for the French. They've got this healthy unit here. This is you know, look, what looks like goons. And they could throw it in the guns here. We've got an artillery piece. I mean, they need to hold it in place to this cavalry. This cavalry here, the Hussars need to hold it and then just let this infantry just fire volley after volley in. There you go. They break really quickly. So yeah, strength and cavalry could be with the German states here today. We will have to see. It does seem as though we have an epic line battle starting to take place over here. We have got Ogru's uh, Grenadiers already in there. <laughs> Some lines are pretty close in there. And already the Saxons are like, yeah, nah, we're okay. They actually have taken a relatively decent amount of losses there. They were like, yep, we're having none of that. But uh, yeah, so we'll have to see how the Prussians do in this one for cavalry. That is for sure. They are, at this point, still in their, like, Frederick the Great sort of style uniforms. So, they haven't changed. And you can see the French have not take, uh, got their shakos either. So, everyone looks a little bit more revolutionary today. We're very much in the height of the uh, Napoleonic Wars. Everyone still looks a little bit revolutionary. Here we go. Prussia as well over here engaging as well. Another line battle taking place. Seeing Prussian infantry now for the first time. See again there in their revolution sort of style hats. I mean, actually over here, their lights. Um, I'm, I believe these, these are their lights or like like Jaeger sort of units. They're in like proper shakos. Everyone else though is not. Yeah, these guys doing their best. You see the Prussian lines getting ready, ready to fight for their Kaiser. See, there you go, some good volleys coming off. And they've also got some grenadiers in behind here, I believe. Yeah, grenadiers have. Uh, an interesting looking hat themselves, but yeah, these guys will be very much needed. I actually have a lot of grenadiers here. They're all facing the other way. I think this is just to make sure they don't, uh, like, fire at will. I think that's just kind of the whole plan. But yeah, the French doing okay here. We've got, uh, carabineers to carry on, actually. We've got some pretty good infantry, including a very good light infantry unit. Uh, we often see this, we've seen this quite recently, this unit. A lot carabineers as an elite, like, light infantry unit for the French. We see by their bear skins. That's a good sign they're elite. Hope they get a good volley off here. Let's see, boys. Go on, Vive le Emperor! Give us a volley. Or maybe not. Maybe they're getting preparing, preparing to march. Maybe. It seems as though the French are fighting hard and are already in this little village here. They're actually, yeah. Look at this. Look at the grenadiers down this street. They're packed in there like sardines. Line infantry might want to just engage. There's a lot of grenadiers in this in this little village here. And you can see that the uh, the French is going to try and pepper it down. I think it's a separate grenadier unit in the building. Yeah, here we go. The French and the Prussians now engaging in this street. Imagine the yeah the Prussians will win this. This is a basic line infantry. You can tell the French aren't interested. They're just going to fire. Point blank range with these guys. No chance. Not, a, not much of a chance there. You can see the French already engaging as well with the Prussians. It's a big old line battle over there. And it seems as though we're having the same here. I mean, it seems as though the Saxons and the Prussians are treating here. It does look like the French are slowly forcing the Saxons back. But the Saxons do have plenty of cav, including an artillery uh, piece all the way over here. So they've been pushed back past where their line advances. Could the French send something over and maybe deal with that? We'll have to see. Yeah, it seems like the um, like the Saxons being pushed back the walls past Walsdorf at the moment. And it seems like the French are also trying to scare off this cavalry that is getting very much in behind enemy lines at the moment. The Prussians already been forced back a little bit, taking severe casualties. I mean, like I said. They're not going to do too well in the infantry department, but their carry department might be where they get saved. My infantry here looks like they might have scared off that Russian unit. Yeah, that looks like it's gone actually. 
They are also battling for this building. I'm not quite sure what's been sent in. Oh, they do have some check here, actually. He is one of the land's armies. There you go. Maybe that is a general. If so, he's a grenadier unit. He's playing bold with a general here. And here we go. Here goes the check. Grenadiers, they're not looking too good on that morale. Losing slightly, they're gonna try and get out of there. Um, looks like they might have won, it looks like they did throughout that unit. And they have taken a building, so there you go. The French have taken this building from the Prussians as well. Also very key. It looks like there's like gonna be a Grenadier unit that's massing ready to go back in. Yep, you can see they're already rushing back into that building to try and challenge the French for it. How they do, I don't know. I mean, if I was the French, I'd probably just keep shooting this unit here. I mean, the Grenadiers are lying here. Just keep shooting them. Big cavalry unit over here. What is this? Oh, I thought it was Curassiers, but I think... I think it's Dragoons, but maybe it is Curassia. I'm not sure. It's a very good unit, whatever it is. Big, big unit. So that will be very, very handy. As you can see here, this is not good at all. Is that artillery crew being broken? No, it's just like a Jaeger unit. Okay, I was thinking was that the artillery that we've seen, but though that is still sneaking in behind. Um, though they can see it. It's a Volta Gear unit over here. Maybe just want to come and clear it up. I don't know. I just want one carrier, have artillery and cavalry for that fact in behind enemy lines. You see here that a Ney is doing as best he can. Ogru over here as well is just trying to shuffle off the uh, keep the Saxons in a little corner right now, or at least part of the Saxon army. And Ney certainly. Does not have the forces to take on the forces in front of him. And it looks like there's more troops appearing from Salfield here, ready to defend. They've got away on the troops being brought up by Lands to try and even hope of breaking through. But you can see already Lands is having a lot of success here. Running down these Prussians as they retreat back to the city of Salfield. So I hope you guys are enjoying the historical battles. You guys seem to be loving them at the moment. Lots of like comments and likes and uh, views and stuff like that. And I'm really glad that you are enjoying this little like series of just like historical battles. Anyway, cut short because we have cavalry coming in. And here we go, cavalry. And, but yeah, I'm really glad that like MTW3 is setting into one of the most popular like sort of like videos on the channel. It's like a really good fate, like really good part of history that I really enjoy and have a real passion for. So I'm glad that you guys also really do enjoy it. There's been more cavalry charging in here, or the same cavalry unit charging in again. I mean, I guess they've worked out this unit here can't form square, which is pretty good on El Real. I'm pretty sure this, this guy here goes on the uh, command core at, at Waterloo Real, so clearly his. Uh, his career and he gets better and better. And then um, Chauvel, I'm pretty sure, ends up in the Peninsula War. You do reckon a recognize names after a bit of time. The Carabineers still alive here. They're looking a little bit banged up, but they'll be okay, along with the Grenadiers. They're looking all very, very healthy. But as you can see, because of that cavalry charge, even though it didn't really do much in the way of damage, it slowed down the French advance, allowing the Prussian infantry to escape. It looks like they're going to go for another, a second bite here. I mean, they know that probably the centre of this line here of French cannot form square, and they'd be correct. But here we go. The Russian cab going in, and oh boy. They took a lot of casualties that time. Oh my gosh, yeah, the casualty rate. Look at the amount of dead cab here. That's like 20 on cavalry that's been gunned down. This is a very, very expensive, I imagine. Very, very big Prussian cavalry has just been thrown away as they try to, I don't know, forlornly charge into all this French infantry. But it has allowed, like I said, the Prussian infantry to get out with the Grenadiers getting back. I'm guessing they're going to try and defend the streets around Salfield and try and hope that that does enough damage to the French. We have some guns here, some big 12 pounders by the looks of it. Not quite sure what they're firing at. It looks like they're hitting a building right now. 
So you need to be careful of that. They want to be destroying their own city for no reason. The French still pushing the Saxons wide here. Like these guys have been harangued by Frenchmen all day. I mean, if it's only three units, by the way, floating boat. Not quite sure what's happening here. Floating boat. But, um, it must be some new invention by the French. Yeah, I was say, there's a lot of French units just chasing down, what, one, two, three? Saxon units, I think. It looks like Orgru's given up on the chase now. He's like, yes, yeah, screw it. I'm going home. Going back to my allies. It's probably not a bad idea. They are going to need them, uh, need his troops for this assault. Yeah, we have the Prussian Musketeers. They are ready. They are prepared. They've heard lots of screams of death and carnage. As a lot of their troops already have, uh, well, not a lot, but many of their troops have perished. Especially those in big old cavalry charges. Got some Dragoons here. Prussian Dragoons usually are in uh, blue, light blue. That doesn't seem to change even after their reforms. Maybe this French, uh, this uh, Prussian unit here will return. I mean, it's it's a big cavalry unit, so there's a chance that maybe it will, but it may also just not. Cavalry usually, I feel like, only it. When it breaks once, it's usually never coming back. It's uh, it's very lucky if it does. Yeah, the French just pounding the Saxons. The Saxons just like, yeah, we're not getting engaged in this. Also, we have invisible artillery, it seems, today. If I just zoom out, maybe just the map or something. If I just zoom out so much, disappear. You know, we zoom in. They're there. Very strange. Whether the cannonballs are not invisible, and they do hit and they do hurt, there's about three or four dead Saxons down there that can uh, confirm this. Here we go, we've got the guy going in here and they're going to take this building. Not a bad idea. Garrison all the buildings. Make it tough. I mean, Orgru now can use this as a defense position. And he can wait for the Saxons to come back and he can then just say to the Saxons, right, you just try and storm my building. And we'll see how this goes. So yeah, not bad play. Already this Prussian is taking up a pretty defensive position here already around this town. The French stretched out in front of them. Have them penned in really. I mean the only way the Prussians can go now is back. Back across the river into the other part of the town and in the, into the lowlands below. But yeah, I mean you don't imagine they will. They know the objective. They know they need to hold Sarfield. Can you charge him? Artillery sitting up over here. It's Prussian artillery and it's been charged by French cannon and they're annihilating it. Did not even manage to set up their guns in time. So they just got destroyed outright and the Hussars are going to look like they're going to get out of there. There's only eight losses. Make that nine. Maybe a few more. I don't know. They didn't take many losses. Put it like that. It looks like we're going to see... Maybe it's just a Cheval charge? Maybe? Does it like it? Oh, we have... Russian Cav coming out. That is wild. I think they're coming for this tiny little gun here with the four-pounder. Not exactly the, yeah, the smartest time to be trying to do it yet. There you go. The Prussian Cav has broken... Yeah, not exactly the most smart time to do it, because the French is expecting me then, and they have cavalry support nearby. So just like that, the French have taken out a gun position and also cavalry one with one little move. Really nice.
caravan here, still doing their bit. I hope you guys are having great weekends. Catching up on maybe rest, maybe some games. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you're just enjoying the nice weather like I have been. Go on, Laguerre, give us a volley now. Or Carabineers, I should say, not Laguerre. This is an elite battalion, apparently. Led by Michel Clapared. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but we'll see. We've got Prussians over here, they're trying to flank the push here of Lands. Lands now, I'm going across. It's like four infantry, no, five infantry units to challenge these guys. We've also got French Cav here, they can flank in. Could the Prussians stop it? I'm not sure. Maybe it is uh, the best plan for France right now just to push aside Austria and try and deal with the Prussians. This is like what they're trying to do. There's now Prussians up here supporting the Saxons, but we will see. And here we go, Prussians now dueling with the French. And they're pristine white uniforms, which soon will not be pristine white. Oh, Grenadiers! There we go, here, Cav. Cav going in, dealing with his light foot. They routed that unit. Like I said, the Prussians' infantry kind of does suck, and it won't necessarily form square. The Grenadiers here did form square, but now they leave themselves to being hit by volley fire from the French. Prepare to fire, men! Hit that square! I mean, look at it, it's just a nice, not unmoving target, and the French really should take advantage of this and hit it. Yes, sir. The thing is, the Prussians know they can't move because the cab will catch them. I mean, they're going to try it. Whether it'll work. We've got a Prussian charge over here. Musketeers going in against infantry. I'm surprised we haven't seen more land there for the Prussians. Uh, the Prussians land there is effective. It's effective. It's, uh, it's just got numbers, but those numbers can sometimes help. I've seen uh, players win with the land there strat. Over here, it just seems as though Lance is going to play quiet and just be patient. Has he got like a victor unit maybe? I mean maybe not because he's um maybe Nays got that. I'm not sure. Go on France, give him a volley. Give him some vengeance! Hey, more melee fighting. Oh, we have a melee fight going on over here. We have Prussian Cav going in, trying to go after a square by looks of it, and other infantry. Having a little bit of luck, but nothing too insane. It looks like both two of the units formed square in time. One could not. Seems as though Saxony has managed to line up with Prussia and is preparing for this line battle duel with May. Certainly something that Prussia wants to look in favour of. Nice to see Saxony back. Obviously, we don't have to see him. We have more melee over here? I don't know. The Prussians just seem like the lower morale. Maybe they're just getting hit hard by. They're just getting hit hard by, like, sort of flanking shots, but it's not really. Not really quite sure what they're firing at. They don't really have an angle at anything. Maybe they'd be better going into melee to try and get that angle. I can hear more fighting, but I'm not again sure where. I can hear men fighting in here. I don't think there is anything fighting there, but I don't know. But look at the sheer amount of Austrian infantry still alive. This one needs to turn around. 
But they look amazing. They really do. And this line battle over here is only getting worse. France by the way is also having to set about putting some cavalry or some in sorry in square to protect against this cavalry. The chasseurs are on the way. They may be able to get charged. Here we go. Imagine the French will win. The chasseurs look pretty battered. Yeah, morale is not great. And the green boys of France were victorious. French are holding on for now. We need to get, get a few more cab plays going. This Dragoon unit here could do with mass riding something. It does seem as though the uh, Saxons are in danger of being mass routed. Actually, all the are mass uh, routing on this side. Not mass routing, just routing. Maybe they just don't have the fight in them. The French are flanked around all the way around here, and it looks like they got hit hard by a canister volley. Just look as though. I don't know where this fight exactly is going on, but I think it's got Cav involved, and it looks like the French are going to lose. But I mean, I mean, this is a good little angle. I mean, stretches the the Prussians up, but no, in fact, the Prussians lost. I'm surprised. Still holding on at the edge of Starfield. See the Carabineers in the background. Lots of line in And here they come in column. Are they going to, uh, are they going to maybe, oh they're retreating now, that's a shame. It's not good at all for the for the Prussians. I mean, they're doing some damage over here. These uh, Carabineers are actually losing. And we've got some uh, Lion Fury here also not looking so great. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say. Hard to say. More infantry on the way. I was wondering if there's any Saxons out here, but there are none. I don't know where they've got to. Oh, they might be over here. I can hear them marching about, we can see the general, but no Saxons yet appearing in the back line. We've got French breaking there. Artillery being set up, that will certainly help. These uh, artillery unit here can just like keep shelling hard the Saxon position with, with normal artillery and also with canister. Can maybe open up some that's a relatively big one that they opened up there. The French still inching forward. But the great is the line here. They're about to charge in. They are going to take a nasty volley first. Here we go. Great it is going in. With their big bear skin. Grenadiers will win this one pretty easily, but we will have to see for ourselves yet. Yeah, probably move on to the next one. You, you would if you could. You see the French massing in here as well, do, going to line battle. The French bar the Russians are probably the best at melee. Even against things like Grenadiers, it seems. Grenadiers are no match for them. Oh, 
Well, French engaging here as well, and it seems as though this is going to be the plan. Just, in, just get into melee in as many places as possible. I mean, great ideas, it makes sense. Line of retreat, less so, but not a bad idea. Big carry fight going on out here. We've got the Hussars now dashing for the guns here of the Prussians. We're going to take these guys out, do some damage, break them. General has been lost. Oh, the Prussians want to get to a general. They got to May. What a terrible, terrible situation that is for the uh, for the French. Morale could start to just drop massively here. We'll have to see. Lion infantry still dueling out here. Everyone else has got to keep their generals safe now. You thought May was relatively safe next to a square, but it seems not. Likely places I think are going to crumble. Oh, we've got the French actually in here as well. With the cavalry unit, they failed. Oh, no, they actually managed to take out the guns, I imagine. And this is the Grenadier unit left. But I would be pushing on here hard. So it looks like the Prussians are going to go for a counter bayonet charge right this second. Maybe incensed by the sight of the dead general. Yeah, the French need to push through here hard and maybe even through the settlement itself they can maybe make some progress. And that is their main objective, is the settlement, so... Would make sense. Grand is the line still doing absolutely amazing. Kicking ass. 102 of them left. Got some line infantry out here. It's not looking good. It's looking a little rough. I don't know how the Prussians are going to turn this around. They might need a big bayonet charge. Especially on the player without a general. Friend. More bay bayonets charges going on here. The French both going in. With the French and Prussia both going in. I mean, if the Prussians lose a general, I feel like that's going to be not GG, but it's going to be a mountain for them to climb because Prussian morale is already looking a bit rough in some areas. And some carabineers flanking on here. They're going to really get hit by cavalry. Grenadiers coming in as well. Grenadiers versus Grenadiers. This, or no, not quite Grenadiers, Carabineers. But I mean, similar thing. I think maybe the Prussians will win this one. Carabineers are good, but they're not that good. We'll see though. We have got Lion Tree on the way, and these guys are charging in. They are getting hit hard by Muscle Volley right now. My god. Toppling over troops left, right, and center. It looks like the Carabineers are going to lose there, so that's a bad sign. The French need to pour in more troops that flank. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. But yeah, this line here is still doing okay. Surprised still that the Prussians and the Austria and uh, Prussians in the south still have to move further inside the city. I mean, these troops right in front of us, they maybe could have got inside this village here or dashed across the river. The French have none of it. And again, you can see that this Prussian and Saxon coalition over here getting pushed back more and more. Oguru uh, is doing his bit. We have the extra Saxon units that stayed at the back and just got pushed back by Oguru and now arrived. Pretty even fight going on here. The little chasseur unit as well. They're 
taking a lot of fire. This drone is, and I think I know what this uh, carrying is going to try and do. He's going to try and sneak around and go for a general. The general has seen it and is swimming the other side. But could this uh, just so here come across and block that off? I don't know. We'll see. He might be able to go for guns, or he's going to try and charge his infantry. He does, in fact, charge. Trying to route the drone. Does it? Really nice, and now he's going to that, that gun. Or not, or not. It's also a wise move. But yeah, France actually know after I say they need to push here hard. So I'm take a lot of casualties. And here we go, we've got the Saxon cow coming in. It's some sort of light lance unit. They've done a pretty good job. They're now charging into more units that can't form square. France is nearly out of the other side. They're nearly out of the woods of this build of this like build-up area. And by doing so, they can flank the Prussian army here, which I think is what they're worried about the Prussians. That's why they're trying to stop it. Full Prussian cap coming in here. I'm gonna say the cuirasses because there's so few of them, but maybe wrong, maybe I'll do I know cuirasses don't have to have a cuirass to be called cuirasses. Most often they do have one. This cavalry is nearly spent, they look at the morale, it's red, orange. The French don't seem like they're giving in. There you go, one breaks. The other two won't be far behind. The French over here, they actually look like they're kind of uh, struggling. But the French have dealt with the Saxon rear guard, or like their um, ambush force, I guess you could call it. The French have won that really well. We've still got like a general here to come up, and then also maybe a, just an infantry, and then the Saxons out. So quick, just like that. France really pushed hard here in the center, and look at this mass routing now by the Prussians. And I felt like the Prussians had got to more across this river. They did not. Got a Prussian general here running for his life. But so, the Prussian artillery, which I just think generally was in a bad position. This 12 pounder, running, this 12 pounder probably should have been out in front, or like over here in the open. Not really firing through buildings, trying to do what they can. I mean, it's just not worth it. it looks like we're about to see French infantry go charging in here. They will, they might get repelled by the Prussian infantry. But the guns will be silenced for a moment. And there you go, French infantry gone. They'll be like, how dare you! Or Guru try to form, uh, form square and also send these infantry packing by the looks of it. It looks like he formed square anyway. Yeah, there you go. So we'll uh, the men of the peaks are a come back to this little fight here. This little skirmish fight. I say it's a skirmish fight. It is a full blown line battle. I mean, the French get the advantage of this four-pounder artillery just sat here, and it's just putting chunks into the Prussians. I mean, the Prussians still got some of theirs alive. Oh, General has been killed. Oh, this is the, I think this is a General trying to flee earlier. No, he is all the way over there. Okay, this is just a General they managed to catch up with. It was just part of this center force here that they, I guess they just didn't retreat him. I guess he felt like he had nowhere to go with this French force here as well. Maybe he was like, screw it, I'll accept my fate and die. It uh, looks like the Prussians are treating, well, trying to treat some forces. They've got some cavalry by the looks of this rallied, an artillery piece, and an infantry unit that have all rallied. And they're now on the far side of this river from uh, some, like in the other part of the They've got infantry here that's trying to hold on, trying to duel. I mean, these guys are going to be 
like on terrible morale to see so many of their own troops break around them. Like there are hundreds. The general has been killed here. That is, Saxony's general looks like has been killed. He has been surrounded here. You can see the Saxons and the Prussians getting squeezed in by both uh, Orgru and also by Alans. And also, I would imagine with Ney as well. Yeah, Ney, Lands, and Orgru all here. Orgru actually having a bit of a breaking, but not too much. We've also got some Laguerre here coming up from Orgru, and he is actually uh, breaking some Prussian infantry. But yeah, they're doing their best. They're doing their best, I, I swear. They're fighting as hard as they can for their Kaiser. And the Saxons fighting as hard as they can for their Duke. Yeah, it's not looking good, and it does look like we're going to see a recreation of the Battle of Southfield. We're going to see a French victory by the looks of it. But it does look as though, yeah, it does look a little bit dire right now for Prussia. We're having a real rough time, but we'll fast forward now just for a little bit, just to get through these last few stages. So we just watch the Prussians just kind of get surrounded here as they, uh, they're just not in a good time, put it like that. We still have a bit of a bayonet charge down here. With some uh, grenadiers, which I guess is the closest thing they have to Prussian guards at some. I guess they just don't really have Prussian guards at this point. Another general here just getting shot out. Probably wants to get him out of there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I just, uh, it just feels like the Prussians are maybe set up to lose this one. It just doesn't seem like there's many ways they could have maybe won. Maybe if they united, uh, and maybe taken all like united together. I feel like certainly the Saxon core kind of just got spread out everywhere and split up. Um, and I said it was a bit of a wasteful use by cavalry, but honestly, I feel like the French played really well. They just, they just did play really well, and the Saxons and the Prussians didn't have to accept that. Uh, certainly, with the Saxons and the Prussians, uh, they like this stage. I feel like they're a real struggle sometimes to uh, to work together. Uh, well, not to work together, just to get to work. We got a French unit here that's just gonna just that's just like milking kills. I think we do. I think he's trying to get in there to get that other we unit's rally. General, General's now been killed. It's like one guy in the General's bodyguard that's dead and they it happened to be the General. That's just really unfortunate there. We've got Saxon Cav going in for one last hurrah. Look at the charging some line infantry. They might actually succeed in taking this unit out. Taking it down with them. No, they've broken first. That is a shame. But yeah, well done to the French. It seems as though they are going to win this one. I mean, there's a little bit of fighting left to go. But, I mean, if you look at the the amount of troops left, the blue being the Saxons and the and the Prussians, yeah, it's not looking good. We're going to, like I said, just fast forward a little bit. Just watch these, uh, these musket volleys go on. A very brave last time. I mean, this general actually here is just getting hit hard by uh, by musket volleys. And here we go. Looks like we're about to see a bayonet charge here. We're gonna have some line which are going in. The shoot de la best has been sent in with his troops from Lyon. There you go. I mean, they actually already broke with these uh, Prussians here. That's never a good sign. And it looks as though they're going to get broken there as well. And then this is this whole flank really gone and being dealt with. Apart from this artillery back here. It's still alive and it's still kicking. Maybe this would have helped the Saxons if this hadn't got split up from the army. I don't know. Their line battles certainly... Um, yeah, they, they could have done maybe with artillery. Because like the French had artillery into the into their lines. And then... They didn't. We've got some uh, hussars over here. They look, they're just trying to mop up what's left as a general. And it looks like some grenadiers. These guys might be able to form squared to be fair. So they might just be able to just about survive the hussars. If not, if they can, then uh, there's grenadiers ready to come across. Yeah, they can form square as I imagine. They need to get after the general through these hussars. We've just got line infantry across the wall firing, uh, like across the river firing. What a general dead. So this is, uh, I think this is general here. Yeah, I think this, uh, like, bodyguard unit, this, like, carry unit here was a general. A Hussar unit here, and he's been killed. Well, that's unfortunate. 
it's a shame that it couldn't happen a little bit earlier. Another general here engaged. The French have been broken, but so are the Prussians. Leaving just this little unit here. And we're about to see the, uh, the Prussian infantry boldly charge in one last time. One last hurrah against a horde of French grenadiers and line And they break. What does that leave? It's a line unit you know, that back there and stuff like that. But I'm just going to quickly uh, make a cut because we're just seeing like a little bit of mopping up now. And there is, like I said, the battle is supposed to be done. So I'll see you guys in a moment when we are at the end result screen. Anyway, here we are at the end screen. So yeah, there was a little bit of mopping up to do. There wasn't much left of the actual battle. Like I said, it was just really, like I said, clearing up those that had survived the initial onslaught. But yes, well done to Richard Lionheart, to Don, to Johnny the Buffoon, and to Chaslock, who are all playing in this one. And yeah, it was another victory at Salfield. And this was sent in by Johnny the Buffoon, who was playing as one of the land's armies here. He actually got 2,265 kills. By far and away the most kills for the French and anyone in that game. Um, Sniper Smith, Gondor, Tolstoy and Angry Peasant all did their best to uh, to hold on. Angry Peasant do, did get a thousand kills. So well done to him there. But uh, yeah, it just was not enough for the Prussians today. But anyway, they will disappear into deep into Prussia. Reform, reorganize, and come back with a vengeance, I'm sure. Anyway, we will look at the unit's kills. So we've got a line for Drea. Yeah, it was 733 kills. I think this unit might be milking kills. Because um, there's no way you gun that many men down. 63 losses as well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, 224 for another line of tree. But yeah, that is where a good percentage of his kills came here today. John the Buffoon. So wow, look at that. But there you go, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Do remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're on here. And a comment show your support. Check out the merch if you haven't already. And make sure to uh, check out the Discord as well. And until then, bye.